Hey y'all, how many times has this happened to you? You jump in your car, you're ready to go somewhere, turn the key, nothing. The car won't start. And you think it's your battery, so you check your lights, your lights come on, your radio comes on, your windshield wipers come on, everything works, but it won't start your car. It just drags. And so you, you get out of your car, you call your buddy, he comes and picks you up, you go to the auto parts store, and you buy a $300 starter. You spend an hour putting it on, and you try it again, same thing. It still won't start. And you think it can't, be, can't possibly be your battery because you took your voltmeter, you put your leads on here, and it showed 12 volts. Well, that, that may be true, but it doesn't show what the battery will do under a load. That's why you need the Syntec 100 amp load tester from Harbor Freight. You run down there, you can get it for about 20 bucks. Uh, make sure you get your 20% off coupon so you can get a little cheaper. And I'm gonna show you how to use this. Well, you just got back from Harbor Freight and you've got your new battery load tester. First thing that you wanna do is pull out the instructions and read them. Make sure that you understand how to operate it. Make sure you read all the safety precautions that they list in there, it's very important. So, next thing that we need to do is we need to get familiar with the, with the dial and what we're looking at. Let me see if I can get it close enough here. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna look at is we're, is we're gonna look at this top row. See where it says zero, goes over to 16. That's the voltage that it's reading off your battery when you hook it up. If you're reading a six volt battery, you, we're only gonna look at this part. If you're reading a 12 volt battery, you're gonna read this bottom part and then all of this. Another thing that we're gonna look at when you hook it up to the battery, you wanna look at the cold cranking amp value of the battery and it will be listed on the battery somewhere. It will show a number and it'll say CCA, that's your cold cranking amps. On the battery that we're fixing to use here, it's a 1000 cold cranking amp battery. So we're only going to look at this green part right here at the top where it says 1000. We don't care about all this. That doesn't matter. We're only going to look at the one that says 1000. If your battery is a 600 cold cranking amp. You're going to come down here to the 600 part of the green dial. That's all you're going to pay attention to. You don't care what's up here and what's down here. You're only looking at this. When you hit that load button, your needle's going to pop over here. And, well, when you hook up the battery, it's going to swing over here. And then you're going to hit the load button and it's going to come somewhere right there. You're going to look at the, the uh, range that your battery falls in and make sure that that needle is in that green range. If it's not, if it's over here in the weak or in the bad, your battery's bad. Okay, so we're going to use this battery right here. This is a battery that I charged up last night, so I know it's probably good. And we're going to hook up the red to the positive, and you're going to hook up the black to the negative. Okay, let's see what it's reading here. All right, my voltage dropped all the way over here to about 12 and a half volts. That's good, okay? Now, this is a 1000 cold cranking amp battery, so again, I'm only paying attention to this row right here. This says 1000, that's all I care about. So I'm gonna hit the load button and let's see what it drops down to. And when you hit this load button, don't hold it down more than eight to 10 seconds. It's very important. Hold it down, read it, let go. So here we go. Okay. That is right at the beginning of the 1000 range. So I'm happy with that. Now if you watch your needle, it'll slowly regenerate back up to the top and that's what you want it to do. Okay, so that tells me that this battery 
is actually good. Now, since it did drop to the very, very edge of this 1000, I'm going to keep an eye on this battery because it's not too far until it's, it, it starts going bad and I'm going to have to replace it. But for now, it's good. Let's try it on another battery. Okay, let's see what this old battery does. Uh, now again, I had this on the charger last night and it didn't do so good. So let's see what happens. Now this one is a 690 cold cranking amps. Okay, so on my, on my um, gauge, again, I'm gonna go by the 600 green mark. So I'm gonna put the positive, the red on the positive. I'm gonna put the black on the negative. Let's see what it says, wow. All right, right away, right away we can see it's not any good. It's about five, maybe five and a half volts. It is extremely bad, and I had this charging all night. I knew it was a goner, but I just wanted to use it for the video. But just for fun, I'm gonna hit the load test, and I imagine this gauge is gonna drop all the way down. Let's see what it does. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, if your battery that you're trying to start your car with if it reads all the way up here, 12, 13 volts, that doesn't necessarily mean it's a good battery because you put it on a load, you hit that load button, it may drop all the way down to here. If it does that, the battery's no good, needs to be replaced. Okay, so there's something else that I wanted to show you about this uh, load tester that is really cool. Uh, look over here where it says charging system. All right, this can test your charging system in your vehicle uh, while it's running. So start up the car and then hook this up to the battery, red to the positive, black to the negative. Uh, the, while it's running, this red needle should come over here in the green part, somewhere between here and there, saying that the charging is okay. If it's over here in the red, it's not putting out enough voltage if it's over here in this red it's putting out way too much voltage okay so if it's in the red on either side you need to get your car looked at if it's in the green you're doing good okay so as you can see having a load tester in your shop or in your toolbox or garage whatever is really useful you will see if you go to any automotive shop you're gonna see a load tester might not look like this might be a little bigger probably says snap on on it um, but anyway get yourself a load tester because even though your uh, e um, even if your battery shows 12 volts that doesn't mean it's good and a couple of cautionary things that I want to tell you about when you do hit this load button down here do not hold it longer than 10 seconds because what it's doing inside this top part is a heater it has a heating element going through there and that's how it produces a load that simulates your starter to test your battery with and this gets very very hot that's why there's holes in here all right so when you get done using it it stays hot for a little while don't lay it down on a pile of dirty rags or whatever hang it up hang it up by the handle blow on it whatever you got to do to cool it down but anyway go get you one of these uh Centec 6 volt and 12 volt battery load tester from harbor freight they're 1999 very much worth it go get your uh 20 percent coupon take it down there with you save you some bucks anyway so this is jason with jason fixed it and you can too Hope you got something out of this. Uh, if you did, please leave me a comment. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, to subscribe, just click on my face. Thanks. Have a great day.